Hi everyone, so this is going to be a continuation of our plasma membrane series, and in this video we're going to talk about the ever so important molecule, cholesterol. So to begin, cholesterol is a type of lipid known as a steroid. All steroids share a general structure of four fused carbon rings. Cholesterol specifically is going to have a hydroxyl group and a hydrocarbon tail. The hydroxyl group gives cholesterol a polar hydrophilic characteristic, while the carbon rings and hydrocarbon tail are nonpolar and hydrophobic. Because of these two distinct regions, cholesterol is amphipathic, and this is extremely important for its role in the plasma membrane. Since the plasma membrane is also amphipathic, cholesterol can wedge itself into the membrane. The hydrophilic hydroxyl group is going to align with the phospholipid heads, while the hydrophobic rings and tails settle among the fatty acid tails inside the membrane. Cholesterol is essential to modulating the membrane's fluidity. Our membranes, they're going to be affected by temperature, both from the environment and internally, such as in hypothermic and hyperthermic conditions. When the temperature is too high, that membrane becomes overly fluid, and cholesterol it helps to reduce that fluidity by restricting phospholipid movement. But on the other hand, when the temperature is too low, the membrane can become rigid, and cholesterol is going to prevent it from solidifying by maintaining enough fluidity for proper membrane function. This is why we often describe cholesterol as a fluidity buffer. It helps to maintain the membrane's flexibility, and it adds mechanical strength to animal cells, since they do not have cell walls like our plant cells. In addition to fluidity, cholesterol is also going to reduce permeability, making the membrane more selective and better at regulating what enters or leaves the cell. It also helps form lipid rafts, which are specialized patches of membrane lipids that play key roles in immune signaling, endocytosis, and in many other cellular processes. As a reminder, the plasma membrane is often described as a fluid mosaic model. This is because our lipids and proteins, they move laterally, and because the membrane is a mix of a lot of different components. And cholesterol, it happens to be one of those components that's going to allow the membrane to stay properly fluid and functional. So that's all for this video. In the next one, we're going to go into the membrane proteins and how they contribute to cell function. As always, remember to like and comment, and I'll see you next time.